First look at Fluid OS version 1.1 based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Fluid OS version 1.1 based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro and this is how your about page looks like and no your RAM hasn't been reduced by a GB that is how it shows up in most custom ROMs for the Redmi K20 Pro as you can see security patch is from January 5th 2020 the kernel they are using is fluid extended and do note that this ROM is based on OSS or open source software vendor and G apps are baked into this build. So out of the box, the build comes with Fluid Launcher. So no pixel launcher, however, you do have swipe down to access your notifications. And as you can see, the blur and zoom effect of Android 11 is working absolutely fine on this build. Press and hold on the home screen, go into home settings, and here you can enable your Google feed app suggestions swipe down gesture double tap gesture is also available so if i double tap on the empty space it is going to put the device into sleep and as you just saw double tap to wake also works here is the google feed no jitters no lags everything is super fast and super smooth so far next up we can have a look at the recents so bam here it is that is how the recents look like as you can see they are super fast as well now unfortunately because you do not have pixel launcher so you do not have the option of select you have the option for clear all you however have screenshot works absolutely fine with three different options so you have share edit or delete tap on share and you can also pin applications to your quick share menu in case you want to do that another thing you will notice is that android 11 bubbles along with the easter egg cat games working absolutely fine do note that whatsapp does not support android 11 bubbles right now next up we can have a look at the volume panel so this is how your volume panel looks like you do have the expanded panel as well along with the option to switch between the different ringer modes and this button here is to enable or disable live caption as for the quick setting tiles here are the different tile options which come baked in we can of course try out the screen recorder which is present in android 11 which does let you record device audio and microphone at the same time and screen recording just started let us see the ui so no there is no lag in the ui when the screen recorder is working and once you're done tap to stop it should stop the screen recording and there it is screen recording was stopped and you also have the option for notification history you of course have to enable this option in terms of the other quick setting tiles which you can add here are the other quick setting tiles which you can add in case you want to do that if you tap on the three dot menu on the top right you only have the option for reset and for certain quick setting tiles like bluetooth press and hold and bam here it is these are the different options which you have you have the same functionality for wi-fi as well then we can have a look at the power menu so here it is that is how your power menu looks like it is transparent tap on advanced and here it is you also have the advanced power menu baked in as well next up we can go into settings network and internet tap on the wi-fi name tap on it one more time disconnect option in the center also have a toggle to enable or disable auto connect on a per wi-fi basis then we can go into apps and notifications see all applications choose the chrome app go into permissions let us choose location and you have three different options for location you also have the toggle to remove permissions if app isn't used for some time and the duration for that is 90 days then if you go into mobile data and wi-fi you do have per app network isolation so you can configure whether chrome has access to wi-fi data cellular data background data and vpn data other than that in apps and notifications priority conversations are present go into notifications make sure you enable 
notification history in case you want to use that feature of Android 11. Next up, we can jump over to battery. So you do have battery saver, adaptive battery, and yes, you also have a toggle to enable or disable battery percentage. Unfortunately, you do not have extreme battery saver mode or thermals in this build. Next up, we have display. So in display, you do have DC dimming and high brightness mode. Then you have the option to schedule your dark theme at a custom time, and you have adaptive brightness, but in my limited usage of this ROM adaptive brightness is a bit wonky on this ROM for now and I'm not sure whether it is me or it is the ROM so in case you do have issues with adaptive brightness do let me know via comments below then you have styles and wallpapers so yes you can configure your lock screen and home wallpaper here it is you do get the pixel 5 style preview home screen lock screen once you're happy with the setup tap on the arrow at the bottom right and it should set your lock screen and home screen wallpaper go into grid and here are the different grid options which you have so you have 3 by 3 4 by 5 5 by 5 5 by 6 5 by 7 and 6 by 6 then you have auto rotate screen colors you have natural boosted saturated and adaptive so no live display then you can configure your font size display size the dpi screen saver go into lock screen this is where you can configure your ambient display and always on display now playing of course is broken on this build and if you go into advanced you also have wake up the screen for new notifications wake up when you pick it up hand wave pocket all these options are working absolutely fine along with double tap to wake then we can go over to sound so in sound you have a toggle to link and delink your notification and ringtone volumes then you also have the android 11 style do not disturb which can be configured on a people app and alarm basis and you also have a toggle to enable or disable the screenshot sound along with me sound enhancer next up we have security so yes you do have fingerprint and face unlock on this rom unfortunately you do not have screen off fod on this build right now next up we have system so in system the first option is front camera settings so you have a toggle to enable or disable the camera led do you want a dialogue when the front camera pops up front camera sound effects are also present along with the new star wars sound effects and you also have the option to calibrate your pop-up motor in case something goes wrong moving over to gestures you do have system navigation two different options three button and full screen gesture navigation go into settings you can configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge then you can configure your gesture bar length and yes you can hide the gesture bar and you also have the option of dead zone for the back gesture unfortunately you do not have the option of hiding the back arrow then you have three finger screenshot works like a boss with no issues at all then you also have adaptive playback so what is adaptive playback well adaptive playback for starters of course i do need to enable it so we can go back into gestures adaptive playback enable it and now if i play some music from the music application right you will see that the music is playing the time is increasing the volume is just minimized and if you reduce the volume to zero the music is going to pause and whatever time you have chosen in the timeout for adaptive playback as soon as i increase the volume the music resumes from wherever it was paused at so that is adaptive playback other than that you can also configure whether you want to see cards and passes or device controls in your power menu and this is what your payment methods and device controls this is what you can configure from there if you go into developer options you do have the option of wireless debugging and you also have a toggle to enable or disable the refresh rate on the top left of the screen in case you want to now we can jump over to fluid customizations and the first option you have here is themes the first option in themes is 
you can change the accent color these are the different options which you have no rgb picker you can also change the icon shape here are the different options for the icon shape then you have system theme as well and on top you have a preview so right now i am using the circular theme let us change this to say vector bam there it is that is how your icons and everything is going to look like the only issue i noticed is that the bottom part kind of resets so right now we are on victor right let us try kai and you will notice that these options reset or go back to the original position it would be great if, if it like stays on the kai option then you can of course change your font as well here are the different font options and this preview on top does change so there it is you can see that is how the preview looks now then you have lock screen clock style here are the different options which you have unfortunately the preview here does not change second option is status bar go into clock settings you have a toggle to enable or disable the clock and date where do you want the clock left right or center am pm style hidden small or normal then if you want to see the seconds or not you have a toggle for that as well you can choose your customization for the date don't show small font size or normal font size the style do you want it normal lowercase or uppercase what is the format of the date which you're looking for and the date position left of time or right of time then you have double tap to sleep on the status bar a toggle to use the old mobile style data icons show 4g instead of lte do you want to see the volt icon or not data disabled icon roaming indicator and of course you can also configure what all icons you want to see in your status bar then you have customization for your quick setting tiles and the only option you have here is vibrate on touch when you touch the quick setting tiles then you have customization for the lock screen so you have volume rocker wake lock screen charging info double tap to sleep on the lock screen to put the device to sleep fod recognizing animation toggle is also there and unfortunately you do not have the option of customizing your fod animations last option here is extras and in extras the only option you have is playback control so when the screen is off long pressing the volume keys will seek music tracks next up we can talk about safety net so as you can see my device is not rooted right now i have only installed magisk manager to check for safety net and as you can see evaluation type is basic safety net is passing out of the box without any root access which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine no jitters no lags live caption also works without any issues along with picture in picture mode do note that picture in picture mode either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in specific countries for picture in picture mode to work next up we can have a look at the drm info application and as you can see widewine is l1 and yes the netflix app is available in the google play store unfortunately i do not have a netflix account to check whether hd playback is working or not hey google will work on this build but it is only going to work with the screen on with the screen off hey google will not work and another thing i would like to mention is that you will have to download the google assistant application explicitly from the google play store and then train the assistant to use your voice in terms of google photos once you sync your device to the photos application try to edit a photograph and then if you go into adjust you will get the option of portrait light and as you can see on your screen right now portrait light does work without any issues in terms of app opening animations here they are on your screen right now no jitters no lags nothing like that everything is pretty smooth if you want to switch between the different applications that also works without any issues or without any jitters or lags so all in all a pretty good build of android 11 do note this is like the first or the second build of fluid os so they do have to fix a few things and there it is peeps that was our first look at fluid os version 1.1
based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you